Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Originals wherein I bring forward to you simple but tricky and intriguing problems made by me uh, for JE Advanced Preparation and in this series as I keep saying by the end of the video one of the two things are bound to happen you will either win by solving the problem correctly or you will definitely learn in case you falter in doing so okay so at the end of the video also I'll be giving you three practice problems on a similar concept to enhance your understanding of what you learn through this particular video okay so here's a magnetic moment calculation puzzle uh, it's not very tough, but I have found when I gave this question in uh, one of the exams, I think four years back to my students, a lot of them actually did it wrong. Okay, so let's see whether you can solve this or not. So for those who want to give it a try, I would request you to pause the video here, uh, have a go through the entire reading of the question and the diagram and try to attempt it for four or five minutes and do come back for the concept explanation and the practice problems at the end. Okay, so here we go ahead with the formal reading of the question. A planar wire A1, B1, B2, A2, A3, B3, B4, A4, right? So it's like A1, B1, then B1, B2, then it goes this way and then this way and this way. So these dotted lines are just drawn. That's not the part of the wire. Wire is here, okay, like this. And it keeps going up till infinite number of turns. Okay. Are circular arcs with the center of curvature O. So all of them have the same center of curvature O. And they all subtend an angle theta at that center. Radius of the curvature A1, B1 is R. And the ratio of radii of curvatures of arcs AI, BI and AI plus 1, BI plus 1. That means the uh, consecutive ratio of radii is uh, decreasing and that factor of decrease is root 2. Each of the straight parts B1, B2, A2, A3, B3, B4. That means this one, this one and this one, they're alternating ones. The dotted lines don't represent the wires are radial and pass through the O if extended. Okay. The wire starting from A1, when it eventually ends at O, is closed into a loop by joining O to A1 along the radial segment OA1, keeping it planar, but without touching any of the points A2, A3, A4, so on and so forth. So he's talking about by the time you reach this way up till O, you want to complete the loop because you want to calculate the magnetic moment and it's valid only for loops. There would be a written wire that would be radially placed like this without touching these points electrically and then close it out to A1. That's what he means here. Current I is passed through the wire loop so formed and there exists a uniform magnetic field uh, B uh, along the line of symmetry of this particular loop. Okay, so along this line of symmetry, you'll end up having a magnetic field. Okay, so the instantaneous torque on this loop due to this magnetic field is n by 6 r square theta i b, where n is an integer. Find the value of n. Okay, right. So, uh, I hope we are ready now. So the idea is to actually calculate the magnetic moment because he has already mentioned the B magnetic field. Let me draw it for your convenience is mentioned already in this direction along the line of symmetry. Okay. In the plane of the diagram and the magnetic moment when you calculate for this entire row would be perpendicular to this page. That means that M bar and B bar are perpendicular to each other. And the torque for such situation is a cross product and would be simply a product in this case because the magnetic moment is out of the page, right? So in this factor that we have, it is a product of magnetic moment and magnetic field. So it boils down to us calculating only magnetic moment, which is the first part without B. Okay, so that's why it's a magnetic moment challenge more than the torque calculation. So let's concentrate on that magnetic moment. So I have drawn the diagram given on the um, left from the question and I have tried to modify it on the right. So just follow my lead. Don't try to see it on your own, right? So just take, let me explain it very clearly. So the condition that he gave is the wire goes radially like this, right? And the written wire represented with this red color is gone like this. 
So in order to calculate the magnetic moment, I am allowed to cut the wires. Remember magnetic moments, you are not allowed to shift the wires, but you can cut them at the, those places only by uh, ensuring that you close the loops. So you could see that the return wire forms a closed loop with A1, B1, B2, A2. So this closed loop, I have drawn it here for your convenience. And you can carefully observe the written wire part and the actual black wire part here can still their uh, contributions with each other in the magnetic movement part. Therefore, this part will not contribute to the loop. Okay, because there is no wire here and the wires each of them here cancel their contribution. So you could see the gap in between is not considered for your magnetic movement calculation. This is the part of the puzzle you should have got on your own. Okay, and then the third part is definitely going to get contributed because there's a wire and also a return wire contribution. So you could con confirm that only odd loops are going to con contribute as you start from the top, that this is the first loop, the second one is not part of our calculation, then the third and so on and so forth. And magnetic movement, I'm representing it with capital M in this video of any single planar loop loop is current multiplied by the area enclosed by the loop. And area of a sector of a circle is half R square into theta, where theta is the angle subtended at the center. Okay, so our job is to add these half R square thetas, right, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what is the area of this part, right? Area of this part would be half R square theta of this minus half R square theta of this because you're supposed to take the enclosed part. And that's what we are going to do in the next page in the calculation. So for that, uh, I've taken the odd loops, I've turned the diagram so that I can represent it as an infinite series like this. Can you see on the left side of the diagram? Okay, so this loop uh, represents an area of half theta I've taken common because for all of them, uh, in that half R square theta formula, half theta comes out. So it's basically R1 square minus R2 square. This is R1 for me, this is R2. And then the uh, second loop, I should say actually third loop because the second one is not counted. This one will have R3 square minus R4 square and so on and so forth multiplied by I. And you also realize that the value of R3 by R1 is one by root two whole square. Okay, R2 by R1 is one by root two, R3 by R1 is one by root two whole square, so so on and so forth. So if I take this R1 square out, which is considerably given as capital R square, okay, all these ratios, this first term will be one, this would be one by root two whole square, this term will become one by root two whole power four, right? Because this is already square and there's another square and so on and so forth. And this is sum of terms of an infinite GP with the first term equal to one and the common ratio is a negative number, which is given by this, which is A divided by one minus R I've substituted here and the rest of the terms come out, okay? So in this uh, scenario, when you solve for this, you end up getting a one by three outside. And for the torque calculation, it is M into B. There will be a B here, which is part of your final answer. Okay. So let me mark the answer and then we'll move on to the practice problems. So here, uh, since it is given N by six and you got one by three, the value of N comes out to be equal to two. That's your correct answer in the final exam. Okay, right. And then we move on to the practice problems. Before we move on, let me, uh, for those new students so who have joined the channel recently, there is a website for this particular channel, physicssurgy.in, right here. Uh, there are certain advantages of going through that particular website, especially for the, your preparation for GE, wherein all the videos of this particular channel uh, channel have been arranged in a subtopic manner. You can go through the YouTube section and explore them either topic wise or series wise, like all Olympiad questions at one place, all JE advanced questions at one place and all Pathfinder solutions, et cetera, et cetera, in special series. And problem sets is something that is extra and you're not getting this channel. Therefore, that's the advantage of website. I've already uploaded some problem sets. So please do try to go through them and are free and PDFs can be downloaded. Okay. Right. And also how to uh, go through the website website and make use of it. I've made a video. It's in the first page of the channel. So you try to please go through that. Okay. And also, if you want to follow me on the social media, then these are the three handles that you are supposed to go through. And if you're serious aspirants, my urge would be uh, to tell you that not to waste your time on these social media. So this is something that I do for the publicity purpose. But if you're real aspirants, stay away from uh, YouTube is already a distraction, but 
it's a uh, good thing in case you are following lectures and all but other three that you are seeing on the screen are real distractions so in case you are uh, serious aspirants please do stay away from them okay right and now the practice problem number one it's a basic simple question we'll start with the easier one and we'll, we'll move on to the tougher questions okay so uh, i won't read it out I'll just make sure that you go through it on your own this is a uh, ideal solenoid and we are taking ideal case of magnetic field being uniform inside right the radius is very small length is large and we want to calculate magnetic movement of this okay right the magnetic movement can be only calculated if there's a closed loop right so in order to close it out i will take a return wire here and close to this surface not touching it and make it current go through it okay so you should realize that if for a thin wire and this is all not exact circles so is what is the value of the magnetic field going to be in terms of l number of turns n radius r current i so comment your answer along with the timestamp of the video in the comment section as i always say and i'll reply whether it's correct or not second one is a very famous problem from erido 3.238 a very important part of your preparation for je advance this is thick wire solenoid okay the previous practice problem is a thin wire this is a thick wire wherein the current uh, density vector and current unit length vector concept comes into picture so this is a very very important problem i would like to give the solution of this in the next irado select solutions okay so please make sure you go through that extending this idea and there is another question actually just after this 3.238 uh, inspired by that i made a question for one of the um, china examinations four years back so this is a question so i can't call it original so that's why we are going to take it in the aits select series so this is for the thick wire solar uh, toroid thick wires toroid consecutive turns there is no gap but wire has thickness you are supposed to calculate magnetic field at the center of the toroid here okay so comment your answer along with the time stamp options are here and i will respond or give you the solution in the aits select series so these are the three practice problems uh, pertaining to the je advanced preparation okay apart from the originals that you have seen right now uh, you can also go through the parallel series that are running in this channel so for new students please go to the description below i will have lot of playlists that are for your per, uh, per user so please kindly go through them and in case you have liked this video please do give it a like it doesn't take much time out of you but it will definitely enhance the youtube algorithm to recommend my channel to more audience okay so your like does matter to me okay so and also share this content in um, student groups and telegram channels and ensure that the channel gets promoted and also in case you have not subscribed i would request you to watch three or four videos i am pretty sure and confident that the content is to your liking and you'll subscribe in case you don't like it then also it's fine thanks for spending so much time uh, here with me in this particular video and if fate and youtube algorithm have a say then we'll again meet in the next one goodbye